Welcome back. Here right now in Bonifay, Florida in Holmes County at what is called The Farm. That's the Faith-Based Addiction Regeneration Ministry. Uh, a long way of saying that it's a second chance for a lot of guys that typically would not have that opportunity. Here right now with Shelly Chandler, who is the uh, pastor of First Baptist Church in Bonifay. Shelly, um, we've had the opportunity to sort of be involved on the outskirts, uh, seeing what you guys have been doing over the last several years or trying to put together. Um, a couple years ago, we met at uh, Gettler's Place That's in right. Chipley, mm -hmm. had a bunch of the local sheriffs and pastors who came That's together. Right. Uh, we had the opportunity to see you there. Today, we're kind of here for sort of a, a soft uh, unveiling, if you That's will. Right. Got yeah. a bunch of the local sheriffs here. That's right. um, talk a little bit about what this whole thing is and, and how it came about and um, uh, what, what it means to you. Well, I've been living in Bonifay and serving here as pastor for 12 years. And over this 12 years, there has been many, many opportunities to minister to people with drug and alcohol problems. And the problem just has, has grown over the last 12 years. And so we were looking for something, some way to give back. And this is um, what we decided or what the Lord decided. And over a three year period of pray, prayer and uh, meeting, uh, it's come to this today. And we're, we're excited. Now, there's a facility in South Florida known as Dunklin. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and this facility, um, at least in broad strokes, is modeled after that, uh, that template. Right. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's about guys who have already been through um, the process of straightening themselves out and therefore going to minister to those guys who maybe need a little bit of a helping hand. Would that be accurate? That's right. It's uh, built on the premise of discipleship that uh, one man uh, is given and then he gives back. And he, um, Dunklin is the perfect model, and uh, we do not believe that we can be a Dunklin, but we can be the farm. And we're going to use that model, and uh, we look forward to um, uh, seeing what God can do here, like they've been doing for 50 years at Dunklin in South Florida. I believe Dunklin's uh, success rate is at 80%, which is unheard of in this kind of work. And so, we went to the best and said, we want to know what you're doing, and we're going to apply the best to the farm. Well, you went to the best to start with fundamentally just by making it the Lord's work, obviously. Amen. That's right. And a couple of things, it, it, it kind of occurred to me. Uh, number one, you said you've had the opportunity to minister to people who are going through difficult times. Mm -hmm. um, with economic challenges, we see more drug use. Drug use. We certainly see more spousal abuse. Mm -hmm. We see all of those um, uh, social problems that can then bring in the other side of this equation, which is the law enforcement. Mm -hmm. Those guys, a um, uh, large number of them in this area, obviously faith-based uh, Christian men to start with, Mm -hmm. And they're pulling their hair out. They, they, don't, they don't want to put these guys in jail. That doesn't accomplish anything right. positive for anybody. So this is a really, and again, as I mentioned, a second chance, an opportunity for a guy who earns the right to uh, come here and uh, show through his work and through his actions that he can make a go of it, get rejoined with his family. Mm -hmm. um, right now you've got Jeremiah Gwynn, who has come right. as a, is a graduate of Dunklin. That's right. Well-spoken guy. We're going to be talking to him in a little while. What do you think of Jeremiah? Jeremiah is... The is exactly what we need. We've been praying, part of the prayer for three years where God send us the man and nobody would have the wisdom to pick that man other than God. He is, uh, he's got a soft, sweet, humble spirit, but yet he's very clear on where he's going and what needs to be done. And you put those two qualities together and he has uh, the ability to love on people, but hold them accountable. I would tend to be more loving and not accountable. And then you have other people that would be more forceful and not loving. He is he's just a balanced individual that I believe is perfect for what we're going to do here at the farm. Yeah, you know, he's sort of got a foot on both sides. One with, with the ministry and, and your pa the pastors, mm -hmm. the group of you guys who obviously um, are of that more loving nature. The That's other right. side, law enforcement, which That's at right. the end of the day have to obey the mandate of the public, which is That's to right. enforce the law. And so um, it's not a matter of, of questioning whether these guys deserve the punishment they get. The law says they do. Mm -hmm. So this is sort of an opportunity to take a step outside of what we're being forced to do because right. of the law. Um, you're getting ready to bring in some of the first residents here. Would that be correct? Uh, That's right. We're months away from bringing in our first residents here. It's going to start small and let it grow. Uh, we'll probably start with uh, two or three and, uh, and see how that leads. You, the, 
the uh, plant has to be built and those guys that come into the program are going to be nailing the nails, putting up the boards, doing the work, preparing for the next man that needs to come. And um, giving back, getting away from self, giving back to the community and to others is uh, one of the most important principles that we're going to teach here other than a relationship with Jesus Christ. Yeah, that sweat equity, they're going to actually be able to appreciate that which That's they right. will have. Mm -hmm. They're going to spend a, a, a period of time here. What Typically, what do you look at as the as that period of time that it's going to take before they're actually able to go out and, and make their own life elsewhere? We're looking at a 10-month program. And that 10-month program, and uh, Jeremiah will speak to how it's broke down, I believe, in three different phases, maybe four. And, um, and at the end of the program, they will already be pouring back into the new uh, members that are just coming into the program. And then after that, they would have opportunities uh, not only to stay here and work if those, if those jobs are available, or to go to another program if they feel so led in uh, helping others, other programs and addiction, addiction programs. Not far from here is Teen Challenge. That's right. Uh, same kind of uh, footprint, except I'm working with a younger demographic. That's right. Uh, I've had the opportunity, our, our staff has, of visiting over there and, and interviewing some of those guys. And again, nothing but positive comes right. out of that. Interestingly, you, you mentioned that uh, Jeremiah has a loving spirit, a sweet spirit, but also is very tough. Talking to him a couple months ago, he was going through a list of guys who had applied, and he was actually counseling them, mm -hmm. and he didn't have a problem telling some of them they weren't ready for this program. That's right. They were backsliding a little bit, and mm -hmm. um, obviously that's not any of us as men of flesh to, to make that determination, but at the end of the day, somebody like Jeremiah has gonna, is going to have to decide if somebody is a likely candidate to be here. That's right. Uh, Shelly, thanks for all that you've done to this that's point. Right. You're lucky. It's right here in your county, Amen. in your town. We're excited. Yeah. Uh, you're going to get to uh, have a wonderful ministry here. Amen. Convenient, which is really nice. Oh, yes. Um, so best of luck going forward. Uh, we'd like to reserve the right to maybe revisit with you soon and Love to. Uh, talk about this. Um, uh, it's, it's an exciting time. People don't get it yet. They're not really yeah. aware of the fact that this is going to happen. Many people kind of are a little doubting Thomas about That's it, right. uh, not knowing. But you know what? The proof is going to be in the pudding. So again, thanks for taking the time to talk to us today. And thanks for um, your hard efforts, your hard work. Uh, we look forward to talking to you and finding out all the good stuff that's going to be happening over here. Amen. Thank you. God Thank bless. You. Thank you. Here right now with Shelley Chandler, pastor of First Baptist Church in Bonifay, here at the farm. Uh, it's an acronym that stands for Faith-Based Addiction Regeneration Ministry, a long way of saying that it's a second chance for some guys who have, uh, in some cases, right. uh, been dealt a tough hand, uh, in some cases made their own bed, uh, but they're going to get the opportunity to, uh, to show the world that they can uh, be a better man and uh, do just that right here in Bonifay, Florida. We'll be right Amen. back. Thank you, sir. Good job.